Hey YouTube, we're back again. Want to know what we're doing today? Stick around, watch that intro. We'll be right back and I'll show you what we're doing. Thanks for sticking around everybody. Today, we're gonna be working on a KX250 dirt bike frame. As you can see, we're outside today. It's done with a nice red. Actually, it's not nice. It's kind of uh, horrible. No prep work was really done to it. You can see I could just peel off spots, flake it off. So we're gonna get this sandblasted down, get it ready, and uh, we're gonna powder coat it, make it look more more like a Kawasaki as you can see I've already I did hit one spot already took no effort to clean that off so uh, hopefully the rest of it is the same you can see it used to be green at one point and then someone thought it should be red and now the customer wants to have it green again so I'm going to enjoy the nice sunny day we have here. I'm going to do some sandblasting on it, get it ready, get it green, and stick around and just see how green I make it. So here we go. Thanks for sticking around everyone. As you just saw, I was doing some sandblasting on that Kawasaki KX250 frame. And now, it's done. We got it sitting right here. Doesn't like to stand up too well on its own, but you can see it's all stripped down. I still have to take, blow it out, clean it off a little bit mask off all the holes for it and uh, then we're going to prime it and coat it make it all nice and new again the one thing i didn't show because it was already half done just quick little job is we also did the foot pegs for that bike and here they are here all set ready to go they were done white as you just saw I got the the, ceram the silicone plugs in there to keep the, the pivot points from getting too full and not going together good. I'll be doing the same with some plugs for the threaded holes on the, the frame itself. So we're going to get ready to throw it in the oven, outgas it, prime it, coat it, and get it done for you and the customer. So stick around. We'll be right back. Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around. And as you can see, I got a breathing mask on. So you know what that means. That means this Kawasaki frame is gonna get some primer. One step closer to being green. Stick around, let's spray some primer on this thing and uh, get her done. And there we have it. You just saw the first coat of primer go down. It's just an oak gas forgiving primer. We're gonna get that on there, do its thing. Then we're gonna come back, spray the green, and we'll be done with this frame. Get it back to the customer. Till then, I'm going back to working on some brake lines for my RX-7 project. So stick around. I'll show you what the frame looks like here shortly. They'll get some green on it. And then we'll show you the end result. All right, I'm back. As you can see, that's the primer has done its thing. I did a three-quarter cure on it, so now we're going to spray some green. In case you didn't know from what well, seeing me wearing a mask like I am, there. 
we get that situated right there. I'm gonna go grab the gun and we're gonna spray some Kawasaki green. Stick around. So, you just saw me spraying the green on that frame, so now we gotta let it do its thing. So while we do that, go click that subscribe button down at the bottom. Click like, drop a comment, let me know what you think. And uh, we'll keep making more content. I've got a lot more coming up. I've got some Can-Am rims that I've already got sandblasted. You'll see a video of them as well, along with the brakes that I'm continuing to work on with my RX-7. I got some Harley Davidson parts that I'm going to be working on. Though that's going to be quite a in-depth project on that one. Plus I got the rims for the Mazda to do. So stick around, hit that subscribe, hit like, and uh, stay up to date with the videos I post. So that's enough me talking. Let's go see what the frame looks like. Alright, thanks for sticking around. We are finished up with the KX250 frame. There it is. Nice and green. Kawasaki green. You can see it's nice and shiny. See the reflection of the lights and everything in there. The only thing we have left to do is pull out all those uh, silicone plugs that I put in there to help keep the threads clean so that way when the customer goes to put it back together they don't have any issues with any of the bolts nuts threaded holes or anything you can see as I'm pulling them out The threads are staying clean. And for a bike frame, there's actually not near as much as normal. I've done some four wheeler frames where it just seems everything is bolted together. This here actually isn't bad. But, there she is, all done, ready for me to take out and send back to the customer. And then he can put it all back together and make use of it. That mixed with the, the white foot pegs that I did up already. Again with, right here, again you can see I kept all the inside of the where it pivots on the frame that's been kept clean so I don't know which direction it's going but that's the idea that you can get looks like it should actually be on this side but uh, Kawasaki green mixed with the white that's gonna make a nice little color combination so that's where this is gonna end for today I'm going to uh, package it up, get it ready, let the customer know it's done. He can come get it, put it back together, and there'll be another bike out there on the road. So if you like this one, if you like the bike, even if you just like watching me talk, go hit that subscribe button, click like, drop a comment, and uh, I'm going to get doing some more. I've got some Can-Am rims I'm going to finish up, so stick around, wait for that video to drop, and... Uh, We'll see you on the next one. So till next time, stay warm, keep it loud.